someone has a seven, likely, like Chidwick probably would have bet a seven on the flop. You only got to worry about Kenny having a seven. And if he raises here, okay, probably easy to get away from me, Jack. Yep. I'm curious by, I'm curious, uh, it would be interesting what Chidwick does if, if he just calls. So Kenny is currently in the tank, and he's wondering why did Trickett bet so small? Wow, he's going to reach for bluffing chips here. What is going on? Wow. It's a really I mean, that's just a peculiar just hand selection all around. I, I think it's, I understand what Kenny's doing. The reason is if Trickett had a seven, he would bet bigger on the river because he only bet about a third of the pot. So he thinks Trickett is going for a thin value bet with a jack. He doesn't, he's not worried about Chidwick having a seven because his expectation is that Chidwick would bet a seven on the flop. He also doesn't think Chidwick has a flush, although he actually has in this situation, because Kenny thinks that Chidwick would have either bet the flop or the turn if he had a flush. So Chidwick's going to make the call here. I would like to see Trick and get away from the ace jack. I think when you see a cold call for 102k, given how small this pot was, this looks very strong. That definitely beats ace jack. It's interesting because Trickett has a key card here, although the board's paired. You know, if the board doesn't pair, Trickett could even, you could really, you know, it's that much, makes it that much more sense for him to like rip it in as a, like, you just almost have to get the, the credit for having it. But like now the board's paired. It's like, what is he, with the with this re raise and a call, it's, it's funny. And look at Chidwick, who extracts a lot of value all of a sudden with checking his hand twice. Gets, gets a random bluff in there from Bryn, random re raise. And, and, you know, he's going to, unless somehow, the only way would be if somehow Sam decided to turn his hand into a bluff, rip it in. I don't even know if that would work at this point, but, I mean, it would look pretty ridiculous. Uh, I don't know. The board's paired. Well, you can see the the body language. Doesn't seem like. Wow! wow. Samuel I was gonna say, it didn't seem like he's going to shove all This in is here. insane hand. Bryn, the the sick part is Bryn was right that Sam was weak. He he made a ridiculous play. Now Chidwick. So everyone has kind of like out. Wow. One up everyone. Like, just kind of like. This is crazy. Sam Trickett, who finished second in the one drop original 1 million buy in to Antonio Esfandiari in 2012 for a $10 million score. Here he is on the big stage in his home country town. Well, home country. I don't know exactly where he's from in, in England, but Sam Trickett, legendary bluff on the river. And Chidwick, who checked twice, sets up what he wants. And now we got Sam. The re raise, I think Chidwick's, I don't think he's going to call. Well, so let's think about it from Chidwick's point. He's thinking, wow, did Trickett really check like a set yeah, or the, two the, pair on the flop yeah. to turn and only bet a third of the pot when the seven paired? I'll tell you what, Chidwick is one of the most intimidating and in regarded in the game now as maybe the best player, tournament player in, the, in poker. And you know, on a paired board as well, if Sam is rep, like, I think that's what he's thinking. I have a flush. Is Sam going to bluff with the dry ace when the board's paired on this action? You know, so from his mind, it just, it, it's even, he's basically repping a boat, right? Exactly. I mean, he is repping a boat, and but he has the ace of club hand, and this is, this is, this is high level, all around, really one of the more interesting hands I've ever seen. Yeah, so Chidwick is thinking, wow. He's trying to break down the hand because he knows Trickett is capable of making really big plays. The thing is, would Ch Trickett make this play of, say, a queen high flush, a king high flush? Would he make this of an ace high flush? Would he only do this of a boat because the board is paired? It's quite scary. He knows, Chidwick knows his hand looks very underrepped because he checked back the flop. He checked back the turn. Most certainly, if Chidwick had a set, he would have bet already. And he does lay it down. Wow. Oh my Samuel God. Trickett.